Fuck. I think every recording I may have made with my uh, GoPro thus far has been in frickin' 4.3 as opposed to 16.9. If that's the case, that's hilarious. I don't know why the default wouldn't be 16.9. Like, why would the default be 4.3? Unless I fucking just fat thumbed it. Unless I fat thumbed it and just pushed the wrong button, which is certainly possible. But uh, look at the look at the neighbors got the damn trailer, got the damn trailer on sale. Man, I bet they're selling it for only nineteen twenty thousand dollars. If I had it, I would swoop that shit up. Might be a little cheaper. Might be selling it for fifteen sixteen. Man, fucktards going to some fucktard event. Oh, let's go to the lake. We're in the middle of a COVID pandemic. I'll go to a lake. That's what I'll fucking do. Cause I'm a dipshit McGillifucky. Man, I need to mow the road again. And I just did that like three or four days ago. But today I think it's build project. Today I think I'm gonna go, go get my wood to finish off my little extension here for my main, my main uh, work area where my canopy usually is. Build a permanent thing over that. And then, uh, next thing I can build is that shed, but I mean, at the same time, I need to be working on the house, so I don't know, I'm torn. I'm torn, but by the same token, if I go ahead and finish that other, if I put that other thing up, that would keep the rain off my area, and then I'd be more, you know, I could have stuff in more places. I gotta put everything away every night, because if the rain comes in, you know, my table gets soaked because I didn't build it completely under the thing. If I put that extension in, that should keep the rain off of it, I'm assuming. And uh, I should be, I should be Uncle Bobino. Yeah, I don't think Walk and Talk is going to uh, be a very popular series because I don't have enough topics to talk about. There's not enough things going on in my life. I mean, obviously I could take about, take, talk about things in the world, but uh, man, nobody wants that. Especially nowadays in this world, we get enough of that. Holy shit, probably come to my channel for a break from that for a little bit, maybe. Yeah, I think I need to tuck the Husqvarna back for my son, because if he's gonna make no effort whatsoever to utilize it, then why the fuck did I give it to you? I think I said this before on camera, but seriously, dude. Like, why am I having to mow your side of the fucking road out here and your driveway when I gave you a perfectly good riding lawnmower? I will totally take that shit back and then mom and I can mow at the same time and knock that shit out twice as much, because I can mow the yard, I just can't mow the field. The field hurts my back. Speaking of which, I can't believe I fucking bought my son's motorcycle yesterday. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me, especially after even fucking having to bring it over and testing it. What is wrong with me that I just am so trustworthy, even of, like, <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I know it was fine after I dropped 600 bills into it, had the valves adjusted, but it don't seem like it's fine now. Now it seems like it's all dick. But he has been having to sit there for like two or three months with bad gas in it. Well, not bad gas, but gas with no stabilizer. So I've now spent $1,900 for two motorcycles. Apparently neither of them work. I guess so. my son's just gonna take that money instead of put it in savings or paying off some bills or whatever. I guess he's just gonna go use it to go on a fun fucking, on a fun weekend. On a fun weekend getaway in the middle of a COVID pandemic at the lake. It's like, bud, you're a fucking goof, dude. You are just as much part of the fucking problem, and I, I just supported that. I just enabled you. Fucking matter for myself. They just need to go ahead and make masks fucking mandatory. And that way, if fucktards are gonna go off to fucktardville, at least they gotta wear masks in the attempt to protect everybody around them. So I still absolutely cannot get my son's bike to crank via the kickstart. Yeah, try this again. Try this again. Helps if you had a have a battery that has some juice in it. So yeah, I uh, I still cannot kick over my son's bike via compression.
via the kickstart, I mean, uh, which might be due to lack of compression, but it, it stays running with the idle just turned slightly up and it kick in it and it'll jump right off, or it'll kick right over, pop it in a second with a, with a clutch pop. With the clutch drop, well, actually, you only drop it on the bike. You just right. It's not like going in the hill in a car. You just fucking pop it in a second, and then if you need to pop the clutch in to rev it up and catch it, but I just take off, right? But yeah, it's doing that, no problem. Of course, it's warm. I'm sure, it's going to suck in cold. I won't be able to ride it, but nonetheless, it's still probably a good investment for a thousand bucks to see if I, my bike can even take riding around in a hard ass seat like that. And uh, so, when I do buy a bike in a few years, or if I buy a bike in a few years, I have a better, better basis on which to judge that decision. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and hook up the trailer, bring it over here, and put all the wood on this. All the wood on this. So I get into the trailer, make a dump run, and then go get some supplies to finish up my extension here. Start setting a reminder on my phone or something. Start camera phone. Hey, remember to turn the camera off in 15 minutes, Google, because uh, apparently I'm a fucking goof. I've been cleaning up branches and dumping them in the burn pit, and y'all just been here recording, I don't know what, cats, sky, fucking still wood. Yeah, see, I don't always record all the work I do. Sometimes I just, I just do work. Sometimes I just do work. But I don't record it or time lapse it. That's not going to hold. I'm going to have to redo that on the side of the road. Bet you almost anything. So yeah, that, all that shit on the trailer is an accumulation of all the, everything I've done pulled down. Alright, I had a bunch of shit stacked up in the front here. And, uh, you know, all the siding and bullshit, that trim or whatever, all the trim and the fascia and the, oh, fuck. Fuck. Looks like I forgot some boys. Son of a dick. And uh, then I had a bunch of shit back here. I got up that. I got that up. I did. And uh, did I ever even shunt you my precarious freaking steps that are just dangerous as frig because they have no risers? <laughs> so they are super sketch. But uh, and I got the had a, had a bunch of shit here. I folded up the tarps and a bunch of other shit that I got cleaned up and that are on the trailer that I put away or I threw away. Took the canopy down. Uh, I may have showed that. I don't think I did. What are we doing? Playing? Oh, did you put your baby in there, Blue? I mean, fat, fat? Baby fat? Fuck, I got too many cats. I got a bunch of center blocks and stuff that I put down in yonder field. I need to go ahead and get these up off this uh, cement pad. But I've done a left. No, I've done a left. I've done enough heavy lifting for a day, so I'll probably hold up on that. I do need to go ahead and build some more saw horses, real quick. And I also need to take apart all of these four x fours and two x fours that are under there. Oh, but yeah, I got all my wood off stacked. Y'all did see that. Oh, maybe I should go ahead and hook my trailer up before I totally fucking forget and just start rolling down the road. Willie frickin' Nils. They love it when I just Willie fucking Nils down the road. Zero fucks given. With not a thought to be done. Okay. I think we are sufficient for a quick trip down to road skis. Hell, it's gonna be... It's gonna be coming back. That's when you're entering the danger zone. Coming back when there's no weight in the barrels. <sighs> well, it's already fucking miserable out here. Oh, 
it is still recording? Okay, so yeah, that's fucking hilarious, right? I'm like, well, I'll just make wider saw horses because these aren't really wide enough. And so I did. But um, guess what? You can't really adjust the fucking. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll just make the legs longer too. No, no, that's not how it works, boys and girls. Boys and girls, that's not how it works. First of all, that's way too tall, and second of all, the height of the angle, the height, the height of the leg, rather, helps dictate the angle. That is fucking hilarious. Oh, I'm a complete goof. frazzle so uh, yeah I think my idea is to make basically two foot lengths of four by four so I'll be able to salvage five of those at least maybe six and the one's kind of split I don't know at least four of me the way I only have to buy a couple of four by fours just taking a couple inches off so the whole thing will just kind of sit so the platform will sit inside the tent that might be the easiest way to uh, yeah, that way I can. That way it'll be going over the sides, and I can just secure the tent, secure the spray tent to the platform. Uh, think that's probably the way I'm gonna do it. Anyway, it being the case, so it'd be pretty quick. It'd be hey, hey, just gotta make out a fucking quick rectangle, a little squared up, you know, square or rectangle, and uh, a ten, a ten, a ten, ten, ten or a nine ten by fuck. I'm gonna overdo it by foot. Watch my nine ten by sixteen ten, and uh, two inches might be. You might just want one inch. I don't know. I have to see. Fuck. I might have to put this thing together. I might have to put the frame together. And, uh, I might have to put the frame together and then figure out exactly my placement. And then, uh, that might be the easiest actually. Just go ahead and put the frame together and then just. I mean, I could almost just build the plaque. I could almost just put the whole damn thing together and just build the platform inside of it. Hell, that might be what I do. And because uh, then I can just put it up against the corners and then you know one in the middle on the ends and then one on the middle You know two in the middle on the length or maybe three and then yeah just go in the ground a foot and out the ground a foot And then way I could just run two by sixes And then yeah, just use and then just throw some uh, throw some Whatever you call them supports in between the stringers and then uh, or those are stringers between the joists. There you go throw some stringers in between the joists and uh Joy some between the ledger boards and how you doing and maybe throw a couple well may not maybe obviously throw a couple sheets of OSB down on top and uh, I ought to be able to get that thing done for under 400 I would think and then get the spray tin on there and then that'll be a nice for all my rest of the stuff I got to spray all the and stain and all that shit all the trim I got to do all throughout the house last me at least a couple years I would think that tent being mostly protected from the weather here behind the house and the shed so all right that's my plan but it's break time just hatched. Hatched? I don't know if that's the right word. Broken out of its uh, exoskeleton and it was on the wall beside it waiting to dry um, and harden. 
Look at this fucking kitten. Buddy, I'm about to take away your... Yoga and uh, yoga and walking has been a uh, so yeah. This yoga and walking has been having uh, an effect. It's been having an effect. It's been been I've been feeling feeling pretty good. It's only been doing it for a few days, right? Woke up this morning and even mentioned the wife when she came home. How good it felt, I said, man, babe. My back wasn't tight at all. I think I slept eight and a half, nine hours. Woke up a couple times and my back wasn't screaming, so I curled back up, went back to sleep, man. I haven't been able to do that in years. And uh, so yeah, man, I did my yoga. I thought I thought you probably don't even need to do yoga or walk today, man. You feel so darn good. I'm like, no, do it, do it, so you don't fucking, you know, keep up your routine. Don't don't be a bitch, right? Don't be Mr. Lazy, man. So uh, so I did it, and uh, and I come back home. I'll just take the old motor guy for a ride. I will, and then of course I'm fucking just bouncing through the fields like a psychopath. And uh, I think I started to film. I think a battery died. But anyway, see, yeah, now obviously my back is killing me because you know that. Compression action, no good. So, uh, I get some gloves and move this wood. I picked up the wood without shall I? I'm turn it Concentrating on the task at hand and not, and not bullshitting and lollygagging. And not bullshitting and lollygagging, but I have to reach myself down here with some alcohol on account of it. just occurred to me that I was holding up the dam. Holding those damn six by sixes right up against my chest. So if they are covered in poison ivy, then gloves probably aren't doing that much good considering I'm rubbing the goddamn posts all over my fucking self. So maybe that'll have some neutralization effect if that's the case, and I just won't be a miserable fuck. What if I'm, if I'm a miserable fuck? I guess I'm tech new. Some techno or something another. I think that's what it's called. Is this cat alive? I'm alive. Oh, you are alive. Pretty kitty. I can take this fucking goof. What does he call himself? Mud shot? I take this old ass bitch out. Do I nothing? Oh, fucker. Okay, boomer. I take you out, boomer. People don't know definitions of words. Boomer is a specific age group, namely my parents. Get a little bit more mellow, as it were. So uh, they call it mellow yellow. Hell oh, yeah. Alright, so, uh, yeah. So that's that, and I'm going to stop being a dick. Well, I'm not going to stop being a dick, I'm always going to be a dick, but I'm just going to stop being an overt dick online to fucktards that absolutely need to be called out, but are certainly not worth my time of day. So I need to just stay the fuck out of the comment sections on videos that aren't mine, and uh, unless I have a quick bit of input, and then I need to drop that knowledge, and then step the fuck out, and I need to stop regulating Stop trying to regulate all the fucktards because, quite frankly, they're unregulatable people that are this willing to. Like I say, they're either bots or they're or they're or they're willful trolls. Because, I mean, fuck, dude, nobody's this stupid. Angry patriot, <laughs> angry patriot, uh, fucker, dude, you're dealing with a progressive patriot, like an actual patriot, like that knows what the word means. But I digress. So. uh... I mean, it's like you'd think these fuckers would just like look up definitions of words and be like, ah! oh yeah, no, that ain't me. Oh, okay, I better change. I better change my handle. <laughs> but no, no. Living in fucktardville. But I digress. And we're gonna move the fuck on, cause again, it ain't worth my time. And everybody goddamn knows that I got something for them. They come around. So please come see me. Otherwise, step the fuck off.
quit today, but I definitely quit now.